Okay, so in this video, we will be showing how I set up my charts on Ninja Trader platform. So I go in the new section and click on chart. So and select the instrument I'm trying to trade. So here we'll be trading ES, which is S&P E-mini 500 futures contract. So you type ES and go in the futures section and select ES futures and click on OK. So since I have that chart already loaded, it will, you know, uh, load. If it is not loaded, it will load one more time. So maybe I should close it and then show it to you one more time. So click on new chart and select ES and click on OK. So now you'll see it is loading a chart of ES. Futures. Yeah, there you go. So one minute ES chart is now loaded. <clears throat> Next thing we will do is set up few indicators on this chart. So one thing uh, I would like to mention is that for ES, I like to use 2000 tick chart. So in order to enable tick chart, you go in the tick section and select 200 or 2000 in my case so if you don't find that number here you can add it manually so i'll show you how to add that so when you go in tick section you can configure here and under tick you select tick and if 2000 or whatever number you want is not there you can add it here and then apply so in my case i'll use 2000 and apply so now 2000 tick chart is loaded on es <coughs> Hey Mr. P, very good morning. Thank you so much for joining. So we are just going through how I set up my charts uh, since there is still some time left for market open. And we'll be starting fresh, you know, this 300k challenge so that, you know, we follow, uh, we'll try to see if we can, you know, trade completely on live stream this account. So that way, <coughs> excuse me, we have a good, you know, documentation of, uh, passing or failing this account <laughs> excuse me sorry for the bad throat so now you click here in the indicator section so in terms of the indicator <coughs> excuse me I'm not a very big indicator person but some of the things you know uh, like some of the EMS moving averages they help you in terms of you know identifying the trend and helps you make your job a little bit easier so under indicators I select EMA and I click on add so first of all, I like to enable the 9 EMA and the reason for enabling 9 EMA is because, uh, you know, it is a fast moving averages because it measures previous nine candles and helps you identify a strong uptrend or downtrend because it will be hugging most of the, you know, prints you are getting and closing, you know, previous nine closing candle, it will give you an average of that. So that way, if a trend is strong on the upside or downtrend, side you will be able to identify that using 9 EMA so I select 9 here in the period and color I just select blue and I like to have some dash and dots in my indicators line so you see now 9, indica 9 EMA indicator is enabled so as I mentioned right it's a fast moving average it helps you identify a strong trend and it closely follows the price action the next indicator I like to enable is the 50 EMA because see, I, I don't want to have a lot of signals for trading, you know, each and every move. So 50 EMA and 200 EMA are the next two indicators, which are like, you know, uh, average of previous 50 and 200 candles. So that way, you know, we are still getting good signals and only trading the good setups. So now I select EMA and put add. This time around we'll use 50 EMA. Okay, so 50 MA and let's uh, select color. Yeah, we can use the gold color and select dash and dot again. So that way you see now the 9 MA is, uh, we can make 9 MA little bit, you know, lighter so that it is more visible. So go, uh, remove this one, 9 MA, we can make it little bit lighter. 
that deep sky view is fine. Okay, so now this way we have added the 9 EMA, the 50 EMA, and we will add one more 200 EMA, which is like you know very strong signal, uh, average of previous 200 candle. So let's go and add <coughs> and click on add button and select 200 here. And let's say we select green color, a lime color. So that way we know, right? We are about 200 EMA. So this is kind of a strong, strong indicator, you know. So this way, you know, right? If, you know, until this point market was in the strong uptrend, it's comfortable to, you know, try to see higher highs and try to go long. And now, as you see, market is selling off very sharply and now below 200 EMA. So this is purely, you know, you know, showing right you now bit risk here if you try to go long or you're trying to catch the falling knife or in a sense, you know, it's a good opportunity to go long uh, for a retracement back to the 200 EMA because every time you see the price moves away from this line, it tries to retrace back to this line. And one more thing we'll do is have a, you know, one more indicator, uh, which is 20 EMA. So which will, I'll tell you the reason because in such busy or, you know, big price moving action, uh, there is a role of 20 EMA also that I'll try to show you or maybe take a trade using that 20 EMA today. So click on add and we'll use the red as a signal line for us. So 20 EMA and make it red. There you go. And maybe make it dash and dot. All right, so you can see here, right? A strong uh, downtrend going on. All the moving averages pointing down. 200 EMA, all the moving averages are crossing it uh, below line. And maybe we go back on the higher, tem higher time frame now. And one more thing I'd like to enable is the volume because it's very important for me to look at volume. If there is a reversal or there is, you know, a strong sell-off like this one, is there a volume behind that sell-off? So we go in the volume section and pick up wall indicator there you go click on add the volume is enabled you can see here right here a lot of volume here here in the pre-market the volume is slowly picking up but still not a big volume here in this sell-off and here on the small windows i have nasdaq 60 minute and es 60 minute charts so all set <coughs> So next thing, yeah, we got uh, most of the indicators I use. Uh, we can enable the volume profile as the market progresses. It will build the volume profile on the sidelines. So again, we go in the volume section, select volume profile, click on add. Okay, so now it will start plotting volume here. As you can see here, right? A buy candle has come, a buy volume has printed here. So as the day progresses, it will continue to build the volume profile throughout the day. And on this 60 minute chart, what I would like to enable here is in the indicator section again, we'll try to enable the prior day open high low indicators. So prior day open high, click on add and in this what i like to do is open price is in the morning so we'll try to indicate in a color of sun gold apply and then high can be again a very bright color line low is good red color and the close is in the evening so we'll make it blue so that way, you know, the color helps us identify, you know, I don't need to remember. Now, clearly I can tell this is the high, this is the previous session close, this is the previous session open, orange, and the low, red. So, 
and then one more indicator i like to enable is the pivot points so this way is good for the 60 minute charts right because you can get the view of previous session the uh, session before that so 60 minute candle you can see all the levels and other thing i like to indicate uh, enable is <coughs> pivot points so it will show you the resistance or support uh, two levels above and below automatically so enable that and there you go the pivot point is here the support s1 is here and if we go down further you know uh, uh, more time frame then you'll see the s2 and r1 also so anyway we will keep it to 60 minute for now and other thing which happens is you know when you add all this indicator all these names appear here which i don't like to clutter my you know charts so what you can do is again go in the indicator here uh, go in the indicator section and each of for each of this indicator delete the label uh, field here so when you delete this manually and apply next for this indicator which we added we delete the label pivot and apply so now you can see the chart is clean same thing we'll do for this chart go in the indicators all the indicators which we added select the label field and delete all these uh, up names that appear click on applying else your changes will not apply click on apply 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 and apply so now you can see the chart is clean so again now we need to do this we did it for one on nasdaq 60 minute and on es 2000 tick now if i had to do this for another chart here i don't want to go through this exercise one more time so what i can do simply is close this one right click on this one and i can just say duplicate in a new window so that way i just loaded another chart with all those indicator automatically so this is the magic trick or uh, you know uh, time uh, trick to save you some time so now we already have nasdaq what we'll do is select es here so there you go es selected so all the indicator loaded now on the es chart okay so if you have any question you can ask me uh, in the chat i hope uh, you like uh, uh, you know you don't find it uh, very boring uh, it's a good thing for you know understanding because as i said it's a new challenge new series so you should be knowing each and everything i'm doing here right why i'm taking the trade what is the indicator i am using uh, you know everything in and out <laughs> hey ashish very good morning thank you so much for joining yeah we just started a new series here today where we will be trying to do a challenge uh, of passing uh, lilu 300000 evaluation account and we just went through steps we i do for setting up my charts so ES also will try to du duplicate here in a new tab. So this time around, I don't want a new window because I don't want to use more space on my screen. So I'll just duplicate in a new tab. So now you can see two tabs loaded. And obviously in one of the tab, I will load NASDAQ chart. And for NASDAQ, I don't use 2000 tick. Uh, we will use 800 tick chart because based on the experience and the advices I got from other traders in our Discord, uh, we prefer using NASDAQ on 800 tick chart. Uh, we have Ashish here in the chat who is uh, you know, very well experienced in trading NASDAQ. And he also recommended using 800 tick uh, to me before. So there you go. I think we are all set now for the market open and to start trading this uh, challenge. So if you are also doing any challenge along with me, good luck to you and hope uh, we all pass in our test all right so you can see here right uh, we are just trading below the pivot on es and nasdaq is holding up very well so this slight discrepancy going on here if we see the code board i don't have that uh, code board right now but i can check in other screen so es down 0.27 percent and nasdaq is up 0 0.09 so there is a huge discrepancy between the two uh, you know indexes nasdaq uh, slightly up holding up well whereas es selling off and towards the bottom end of this range and by the time uh, you know uh, let's see 
So a nice pop here in the ES uh, after that drop when we were busy setting up the chart but it's okay we'll wait uh, to get an entry long because I like to go long as I said right Nasdaq holding up well ES uh, went to pivot and just slightly below so and, and now starting to bounce from this level so let's see see as I said right 9 EMA is the fastest moving average it caught up with the price before everyone like 50 uh, like yeah, this was the 20 MA, 50 MA and 200 MA. They are all lagging and the 9 EMA is the one which caught up with the price very first. So I see some of the comments, uh, some of the people are facing problem in with their rhythmic uh, ninja. So far I did not face any issue. Uh, 